This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome, hi viewers. Today in this video, we will learn use of logic and operators in if then else statement. So we have studied the three logical operators that is and or and not these operators play an important role in constructing conditions to be used with if statement until now we have been using simple conditions with if statement in this section we shall observe how complex program logic can be simplified using logical operators now we're gonna write a program to understand this concept so let us consider a program to find the smallest of three given numbers so for this purpose we will need to switch to the IDE to execute a program so here we are viewers we're going to type a program in line number 10 we will type input a comma b comma c we will take three variables numeric variables line number 20 will type if a is lesser than b and a is lesser than c then 50 else 30 line number 30 we will type if b is lesser than a and b is lesser than c then 60 else 40 line number 40 we will type if c is lesser than a and c lesser than b then 70 and line number 50 we will type print a is the smallest number type go to 80 line number 60 we will type print b is the smallest number number quotes column type go to 80 line number 70 we will type print c is the smallest number over quotes and at line number 80 we will type print we will type input would you like to input again why and yes why for yes and for no double quotes semicolon y dollar string variable will be used which will decide whether to continue the input or to terminate it line number 90 we will type e and d and no well line number 90 we will type if y dollar is equal to y then 10 else line number 100 we will type e and d and 
Now I'm going to save it. We'll press the F4. We'll type smallest dot B A S. We'll press F3 key to load the same program. We'll type list dot B A S. Now we'll press F2 key to run this program. We'll give the value like 2, comma 3, comma 5. So A is the smallest number. And it asks again to the so in this case the first condition is true. So we will control after the then statement will be executed. So uh, the program will switch to right after from here from line number 20 since the condition has become true. So the line number 50 will be executed right after the line number 20 and line number 50. You can see that this is the output A is the smallest number. So you can see the output A is the smallest number on the screen. From here you can see go to 80. This control will be transferred unconditionally to line number 18 in here. Would you like to input again statement can be seen on the screen. So if you want to continue you can press Y and press the enter key. Now you want if you want to give values like six comma ten comma three press the enter key. Now you can see the C is the smallest number in this case and it again so in this case viewers line number twenty will becomes false. So the control will be transferred to line number 30. Line number 20 again becomes false. So in here in this case, you know very well, I explained to you before that the true task is executed right after the instant. So in this case, the true task is not executed because the condition is not true. C is the smallest number. So the control will first check the control will be first transferred to line number 30. But again, the condition becomes false. So you can see here the else is switch to the line number 40 because the condition has again become true because C is the smallest number. So here in this case the C has become smaller, smallest in this case here in this case. So the control will be transferred to the line number 70 because the true task is always executed right after the then statement. So line number 70 will be executed at line number 70 you can see so 50 60 will be uh, not will be ignored and will not be executed and 9 percent will be executed and you can see the output is C because you can see the C is smaller number on the screen and line number 80 you can see again the would you like to input again as in input is can be seen on the screen but here I don't want to continue so I will press N so the program will be terminated and you can see the OK message on the screen so I'm going to elaborate this program let's see how it is done so here is I'm going to explain this program. There are many such situations where they do where the use of logical operators would simplify the program logic we just have to concentrate on the underlying problem so First, I'm going to type it like at line number 10, user will be asked to give values of A, B, C respectively, and at line number 20. Condition is checked and A is compared with both B and C. And if the user gives the smallest value of A then the 
condition that line number 20 will become true and control will be transferred right after the then statement control will be transferred to line number 50 right after the then statement and a is the smallest number will be shown as an output on the screen but if user gives smallest value of B then the condition at line number 20 will become false and control will be transferred to by number 30 right after the else statement and since condition at line number 20 becomes true therefore the control will be transferred to line number 60 right after the then statement and B is the smallest number will be displayed as an output on the screen. Likewise, the same process will be done with the at line number 40. where C will be checked against A and B and if the condition becomes true then the control will be transferred to line number 70 and C is the smallest number will be displayed as an output on the screen so you can see that go to 80 is used at line 50 and sixty so right after displaying the smallest value message on the screen control will be unconditionally transferred to line number 80 where input will be t 
taken from the user to select whether the user wants to input again or not and if the user type Y then the control will be transferred to line number 10 else otherwise If user type N, then program will be terminated. Then program will be term. Then the control will be transferred to line number where it finds the end statement and then the program will be terminated so that's all I hope that you like my video and you can easily understand by using this example you can run it in your GW basic ID and can get the better idea uh, and concept of using how the using uh, logical operators can be used use the if then else statements this is a very good example to learn so that's all for today and thanks for watching my video